Hello and welcome back to another GTA 5 modding tutorial. Today's video will be a quick one where I'll show you how to create a realistic chrome effect for weapons. Some prior knowledge is recommended, so if you're new, feel free to pause this video and check out my previous tutorials first. As always, the timestamps can be found in the description below. Now that's settled, let's get started. Part 1 Setup the first step is to separate your model based on the materials it will use. For example, here I am working with a Desert Eagle. I want only the metal frame and slide to have a metallic finish, so I detach the non-metallic parts of the gun, such as the safety and grip. Sometimes certain parts of a model are included only in the textures, not in the actual geometry. In these cases, there's not much you can do except edit the specular map. Part 2. Textures When creating a chrome material, you will likely need to adjust your textures to enhance the effect. Since this model uses physically based rendering, the base color tends to be quite light. To achieve a convincing chrome look, you should darken the metal color to a shade of dark gray. As you can see, I have already made these adjustments. You also need to modify the specular map. While you might think keeping the specular map pure white would enhance the effect, it actually results in excessive shininess and looks unnatural. Therefore, it's better to darken it slightly. You can keep all bullet textures completely white though. Part 3. Materials Now let's move on to materials. Keep in mind that we'll apply the chrome material only to the parts of the gun that we want to appear shiny. The rest of the gun will use the standard GTA material. Click on the globe icon, then under the GTA section, go to bump and select normal spec reflect. Next, open the material and choose your textures. Scroll down to the bottom to find the environment map setting. Lower its value to around 150. You can adjust this number depending on the visual effect you're aiming to achieve. Make sure you have an environment texture loaded in the material browser. It doesn't matter whether it's an original or a placeholder, it will be replaced later. As you can see, I've darkened the base color of my model to help enhance the chrome effect. Make sure to import both the environment map and the environment smooth concrete textures. You can use any environment map but I find this one works particularly well. Feel free to use it or create your own in Photoshop by taking a screenshot in game and applying the spherize filter. If everything was done correctly, your model should now look similar to this. The material will have a chrome-like effect and appear very shiny. The reflections on the gun are generated by the environment map, so changing it to a different one can produce some interesting and dramatic results. And that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something valuable. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer. As always, thank you for watching.